is coming from the book of Psalms, and we'll be reading Psalms 133. It's the book of Psalms 133. Amen. And we'll say amen when we get there. Amen. And the word reads, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, and went down to the skirts of his garment. And the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for th there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Amen. 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 I read Amen. for you Psalms 133 in its entirety, and may the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, but most so doing of his word. Amen. Amen. Let us bow for a word of prayer. <clears throat> awesome Heavenly Father, God, we come before you humbly right now with hearts full of thanksgiving to Heavenly thank Father. You. God, we are grateful for another opportunity to be in your presence, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Yes. God, we thank we thank you for the opportunity to even be in your holy sanctuary right now on thank this day, dear Heavenly you. Father. Thank God, you. the scripture was about how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity, dear Heavenly yes, Father. And God, yes. though we are, are scattered abroad right now, dear Heavenly Father, due to the things that are going on, God, I pray that there will be unity amongst the body of yes, Christ yes, today, yes, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, we come yes, together Lord. with one mind, friend, dear Heavenly Father, yes, under one spirit, together, under yes, one God, yes, one faith, and one baptism, dear Heavenly Father. God, we want to be together, unified in the spirit right now, God, giving you praise, honor, and glory all over this world, dear Heavenly Father. Regardless of where we are, God, whether we be in the living room, whether we be in the kitchen, whether we be in our cars right now, God, whether we be the, 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 the small few that are able to be, gather in the house of God, Hallelujah. we still want to be unified in the spirit, yes, worshiping sir. you Thank and you praising Lord you Jesus. all Thank over the you. country, yes, all over the world right now, because yes, God, you are worthy to be worthy, praised God. to heavenly Father. Hallelujah. God, I am reminded, I am reminded yet again of what I saw on the, on the internet earlier this week, how they showed that the the, the cases of the virus had rose since January in exponential numbers. But God, I paid very close attention and I saw how there were way more of the recoveries hey, than there were hey, deaths to Heavenly Father. Oh, so yeah. even in the midst oh, of the storm oh, right now, oh, in the midst oh, yeah. of the COVID-19 oh, virus, yeah. God, you are still oh, showing oh, yourself yeah. mighty oh, and oh, strong oh, Heavenly oh, Father. Yeah. You are still proving oh, yourself oh, to be a yeah. healer. Thank God, you. regardless oh, yeah. of what the media will try to show us, oh, yes, try to make oh, yeah. us feel a certain yes. way, Heavenly Father, yes, regardless of what we see or hear, Hallelujah. God, yes, you are still Lord, showing yourself to us yes, individually yes, you day yes, by day, dear Heavenly Father. Thank For you, that, Thank we you. are grateful. Thank you. God, I am grateful that I haven't received this virus, dear Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. I'm grateful that I woke up this morning in good health, dear Heavenly Father, yes, in my right mind, dear Heavenly Father. God, I'm grateful that even in the midst of all of this, God, you are still providing my needs according to your riches and glory. That's right, Jesus. God, we praise you and we lift you up in this place. God. Hallelujah. Though we be small in numbers, God, we're not worried about it. Yes. You said where two or three them. are gathered Hallelujah. in your name, yes. that you are in Hallelujah. the midst of Heavenly Father. And God, yes. we're grateful Hallelujah. that you are in the midst of this place right now, God. Hallelujah. And God, I pray that your spirit will reach to each and every household, yes, each and every cell phone, each and every place where people yes, are viewing yes, this yes, right Lord. now, dear yes, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. again, we want to be unified in your presence, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. Though we may be separated one from another, dear Heavenly Father. Father. God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit, thank Heavenly you. Father, that is not bound by walls, that is not bound by geographical location, dear Heavenly Father. God, we are grateful, dear Heavenly Father, that your spirit and your eyes are going to and fro in this earth, observing the good and the evil, God. Yes, you are everywhere, you. God. You are seeing all thank things, you. and God, you are all powerful. So, God, we praise thank you, we worship God. you for your sovereignty, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. Hallelujah. God, you knew what was going to happen on this day. You knew what was going to happen in this season, but God, I'm grateful because I know you had a plan the yes. entire time, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. And God, not only did you have a plan, but you had a plan for each and every one of us individually for our own yes, personal sir. situations. Yes, sir. That's yes, the sir. God that we serve. Yes, that is sir. the God that loves us unconditionally. Thank God, I'm you. so grateful for how you can, God, how there can be billions of people on this earth, dear Heavenly mm -hmm. Father, and how you mm -hmm. could have a plan set in place 
for each and every one of us. And God, they all be so intertwined perfectly, working all together for our good, working together for the good of those who love you and are the called according to your purpose. Amen. God, I'm grateful that I serve a God like yes, that, yes, a God who has eyes that can see, a God that has ears that can hear, a God that has a mouth that can speak back to me, dear Heavenly Father. God, I'm grateful for that God, that kind of God. And I'm grateful for who you are in my personal life, God. So, God, as we are gathered in this place, God, yes, sir. we would be remiss if we didn't come before you with hearts of repentance as yes, well sir. right now, yes, God. Sir. Yes, sir. God, we may have said some things this week that was unpleasing to you, God. God, we may have done some things this week that were unpleasing to you. And, God, I'm not talking about the things that we did mistakenly. I'm talking about the uh, things that we know we did. Yes, yes sir. sir. Those moments when we knew we made a bad decision, God. Mm -hmm. yes, that moment where we knew we were about to sin yes, and we sir. did it anyway. Yes, have mercy. God, I'm yes, grateful God. for your grace and your mercy, we God. Yes. I'm grateful yes. for your forbearance to have me, Father. But God, we're also going to come before you and say that we're sorry, yes, Father. Yes, and God, we're going to come yes, before you right now again. and we're going to say that, God, we're repenting yes. right now. Yes. Turning from that yes, sin, yes, Father, yes, that is pulling us away from you and turning back. And Thank consciously you. coming back to Thank you, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, because, God, we want that intimacy with you. Yes, we sir. want to be close Thank to you, you, dear Heavenly Father. Because, God, we know that the closer we are to you, the yes, safer sir. we are, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Yes. So, God, as your presence is filling this place, dear yes, Heavenly Lord Father, Jesus. as your spirit is moving, Holy Spirit, we say that we ask that you have your way. Do it. Yes, have Lord. Your way, dear Heavenly Father. God, have your way in the homes of those that are watching this. Have your way in those cars where they are, God. Authorize it, God, where somebody may have the ability to, to be viewing this on their job right now, dear Heavenly Father. God, we have that you be in yes, that place with them, dear Heavenly Father. Let your spirit touch them in a way that has never touched them before so that they know that your presence yes, is with them, dear Heavenly Father. Sir. God, do something special for your people today. Please, God. Do it. God, I beseech you. Do something special Do for it. your people on this day. God, there are many people right now, dear Heavenly Father, that are discouraged that they cannot be in your holy sanctuary right now. Mm. But God, show them that you are ever yes, more close Lord. right now yes, in this yes, time, Lord. dear Heavenly Father. Do it. Yes, Lord. Please, God, do it for them. Do it in the name of Jesus. And God, yes, I'll be honest Lord. with you. Whether you do it or not, we uh -huh. still gonna worship you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you still gotta be worthy to have your father. So God, as we go forth, let our praise be a sweet smelling savior yes, unto sir. your nostril, to have your yes, father. Let it all be pleasing in your sight. Yes, because, sir. God, all we want to do please, is please you. That's all. God, we're grateful for your love towards us, yes, dear Heavenly Father, because we know we don't deserve it, but yes, you sir. gave it anyway. Thank you. God, that is mm, Thank you. That is awesome. And God, we appreciate you, you for yes, loving you. us. So God, as we go forth and as we show you our love oh, back, Lord, we just Lord, ask that you be glorified and magnified. Yes, yes, Father, we do love you, not just with our lips, but with our we heart. And it's in your yes, son, it's in, in your Jesus, son, Jesus' Holy name, that we do pray. Holy Spirit, have your way. Amen. 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 There's beauty in my brokenness. I got your love instead of pain. There's freedom, for you captured me. I got joy instead of mourning. There's beauty in my brokenness. I got true love instead of
There's beauty in my brokenness. I got true love. I got true love instead of pain. There's freedom though. There's freedom though you captured me. And I've got joy. And I got joy instead of mourning. Cause you give. Cause you give me joy down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. I've never been so, I've never been so free, caught in your love for me. I've never been, I've never been more secure, knowing your heart, Lord. I've never been so free, caught in your love for me. I've never been more secure, calling your heart, Lord. Never been so free, calling your love for me. I've never been more secure, knowing your heart, Lord. I've never been so free, calling your love for me. I've never been more secure, knowing your heart. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. You give me joy down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul. Never been so free, calling your love for me. I've never been no secure, knowing your heart, Lord. I've never been so free, calling your love for me. I never been more secure knowing your heart, Lord. I never been so free calling your love for me. I never been more secure knowing your heart, Lord. I never been so free calling your love for me. I never been more secure knowing your heart, Lord.
be. Jesus, Lord. Touch our mouths right now. 
Do it. Commit to circumcise our hearts do right it. now, Lord. Do it. Do it. Then we may be we may glorify you today, yes, God. Sir. Humbly, we bow right now, God. Father, we want to make sure that not just in this place, but we want to make sure that even over the airways today, God, that you receive all the glory that's due your holy name today. God, we don't want to share. I know, we don't even want to try to much less share your glory, God. We want to make sure you, you get it all, Lord, today. Because it all belongs to you, Lord. So, Father, be magnified in this place today. We come right now, God, asking you to make sure that we are worthy to enter into your presence right now. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for looking beyond our faults and yet meeting our needs, Lord. I thank you, Father, for even seeing me through time, Lord. And you yet sent your son, Jesus, that we may have this privilege and this honor to come before a holy God. We bow down right now, God. Father, we recognize who you are. You are the one and only true and living God. There are none that can be compared to you nor likened to you. So we bow down right now, God. And the Bible tells us that everything, one day is going to bow down before you. Everything is going to bow down before you to give you the honor and glory that you deserve. So we start right now. Willingly, God, we do it right now. Willingly, God, we yield ourselves to you. We want to be instruments for your glory today, God. We want you to be seen, God. Not just in this place, but you be seen everywhere, God. Yes, Lord. People everywhere need to know that there's a loving God that's all powerful, all sovereign, yes, and that he knows everything. Thank you, God. Thank you. And so we come today to worship you, the one and only true and living God, the one that's omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. We come to give you glory today. Holy Spirit, we want you to continue to have your way with us today. Hallelujah. Not just in this place, but have your way, period, God. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way. We pray for those right now that may be on their sick beds, Lord. We send the healer himself to touch right now in the name of Jesus. For that one that's confused in mind right now, we ask your Holy Spirit to touch right now and regulate that mind in the name of Jesus. For that one that has said in his, in his heart that that is no God. Do it, God, right now. Yes, Show yourself mighty and yes, strong, God. In the name God. of Jesus, Father. Yes, Lord. Throughout the entire earth. Yes, Father. You're still God. You're still all sovereign. Yes, sir. Do it. Everything is up under your authority yes, and power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Holy Spirit, we yield ourselves I right now that you may have your way have in us right now. Come on, Lord, way. and do it right now. Have we'll be careful way, to give you all the praise, all, all the honor, all and yes, all the glory that all only you deserve. Yes, and you deserve. alone all deserve. deserve. And it's in the matchless name of Jesus that we do pray. Can the church say amen? Amen. Amen. We thank God this morning. Were you glad when they said unto you that I'm going to the house of the Lord? And listen, I know that you have to look, stay glad anyway. You're still in the house. You may not be in the house physically. You may not be in the house in the natural, but you're still in the house. Yeah, if you can. If yeah. you can. Listen, if you in the spirit of God Hallelujah. right now, you in the house, in the house. of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we welcome you this morning. For those that are viewing this morning by Facebook Live, we say welcome, welcome this morning. Welcome, welcome. welcome family. We miss you yes, already. Sir. We've yes, been sir. missing you so much. But we welcome all others that may be joining us this morning. Hey, this is a way to invite them to church and they ain't got to physically come, huh? Hey, man. Come to the yeah. worship service. Come into the house of God so that we can Hallelujah. glorify Him Hallelujah. together. Yeah. I say this to all of us today. You may have rose up this morning, got up this morning heavy laden with the cares of the world, and there is something to be heavy laden about. But I pray that during this time this morning, that something will be said and done, that the Holy Ghost will reveal to you that God is still knowing all and touching us all. Hallelujah. He's still keeping us because he's a keeper. He and that something will be done to be a lift of your head, to lift that burden. That if you got up this morning feeling like that, that you won't leave here the same way. You mm -hmm. will when this broadcast is over. We pray that you, Lord. 
that you, Lord, have already moved on somebody mm. to where they got the peace of God yes, that surpasses Lord. all Lord. understanding. Lord. This too shall pass. Lord. We believe Lord. that. Lord. So listen, our wonderful worship leader is going to come and lead us that are here in our first inspiration song. Come on and sing along, family. Come Amen. on and be a part. Hey, Amen. let's have that Holy Ghost party now. Yeah, living yeah. Room. Right. yeah. yeah. like the day of Pentecost. Right yeah. Yes, today, Lord. I thank God for yes, this. Lord. Hey, we can, hey, we can right now worship God today all together with one accord. Yes. So let's get our worship leaders some love right now. Amen. Amen. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. He's watching over me. One more time, say, I know. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. Watching over me, no eyes, cause his eye is on the little bitty sparrow. And I know, I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. I know the Lord is watching, he's watching over me. Watching over me. Listen. Take no thoughts about tomorrow, because tomorrow will take care of its own. Come on, man. You see the birds and nests and the lilies and the field, but we are the one he calls his own, and that's why I know. I know the Lord is watching. He's watching over me. I know. Over me. Thank you, Jesus. 
So I have a testimony, and I want to thank God because God he used a, a friend to show me how good he is. You know, in, in the job that he gave me, you know, at least we're still currently working right now. You know, I have a couple of, of bills, like the, the people I owe for fixing my car, they're not giving us a full loan. They're not giving us any time to, to push it off for, like, the, the stuff I owe for, for the court. They're not giving us time for that. So there's no excuses, basically. So I just thank God because, you know, out of the two jobs I was praying for and the one that he— led me to the one he gave me, you know, they're still working during this time, so Amen. I know he's watching Amen. over me, Amen. so I thank God. I, yes. I thank God yes. for that. Yes. I thank God. And then, uh, God is still providing. yes, sir, God's absolutely. And and I do thank, I thank God for the hope that he gives me to give people, because there's lost people I talk to on a daily basis, and they're not paying car notes and stuff so they can buy food and toilet paper and all that type of yeah, stuff, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, I thank God for just the peace of it. It shows how good it is to know him, how you're not you know how we're not stressing and and right. man and and at times when we tell them okay well look this is Toyo's doing this man they they break down in tears because they use their car but like the people the world is out there really worrying and and, and right. all that so I really thank God it shows us how much you know how good He is the peace that we have and and, yes, and watching over him yes, Lord. and Amen. and sorry to keep going just one more thing that He showed me. Oh, <laughs> Um, the third thing is that uh, we thank God for the technology and everything where we could stay together like this. Amen. But he said that we should be feeling some type of way if we're not here because, you know, there's times that we take coming to church for granted. And times yeah. we take Come the on, fellowship sir. of one another and the power of that, that God's anointing and his spirit and everything being here, we take yeah. that for granted. You know, that's what you know, they're talking about in Amos chapter around chapter eight. You know, we take it for granted. So we thank God that there's a way where we could all stay connected. But it should show us that, hey, if you're not feeling some type of way, but not being able to be here, then, you know, you should pr check yourself. <laughs> check yourself, yeah. So I just thank God for that. Yeah. Amen. 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 I want to give God some glory this morning just to uh, uh, echo what my brother just said. You know, I do thank God for the peace of God. Yeah. And it does surpass all understanding. Yeah. First of all, give an honor to God. Uh, because he deserves all the honor yeah. and glory and praise. Yet, even right now, yes, he still yes. deserves it. I thank God for the fact that, you know, uh, uh, as I sit and listen about people, you know, sometimes when you, you, you know, you're not out there, like I've been working from home right. for over three years, you don't, you don't see what others see. And now I begin to see some things, how it affects people. It's touching my heart. But I want to thank God right now that he's still a keeper. Yeah. He's still a keeper. And we got to keep trusting God because he promised not to leave us nor forsake us. He mm. promised to take care of us. everything yes, that Lord. concerned us. And I thank yes, God Lord. for that. But even in that right now, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm reminded when that brother said, you know, come into the house of the Lord because he said there's a place where he put his name uh -huh. that he put his name on and he said that's where his spirit is going to be all right now yeah we do have the holy ghost that dwells in us but when we come together right with one right. accord like right. the day right. of right. yeah. the holy ghost really can be glorified right. and magnified yes, in the place yes, Lord. and so yeah that's all good and everything you know that we feel with the holy ghost sitting at home even watching by a video but it's nothing like when two or three gather together in my name. Yeah. Right. It's nothing like where many more can gather. It's, not, it's nothing like touching and agreeing. Right. I'm just going to say that because then, you know, then, then God can be glorified amongst us. Then the folks can see how good God is. Yeah. Yeah. The world can see how good God is. So I right. want to thank God this morning. My testimony that I wanted to give, I just wanted to provide some encouragement right there. I want to give a testimony on behalf of my mother. My mother on Wednesday turned 89 years old. Amen. And she's still here. I yes. give God glory for that. I give God glory for that. She's still in her right mind. She's still able to, 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 to care for herself. She lives alone. But even in that, she wants to drive, but she can't drive right now. 
But I thank God for that, how he's keeping up. Yes. Even in the midst of this, yes, all that going on, my mama want to go somewhere. She ready to go somewhere. <laughs> I thank God yeah. for that in her. Because somebody that, that was much younger than she did, she is, didn't make it this week. Yeah. So I want to give yeah. God glory on her behalf yes, today. Yes, Lord. Thank on you, her behalf today. Yes, that God is still a keeper. Thank you for keeping he's me. still a watcher. Yes. We give him glory and praise today. I want to stand up, first of all, and give an honor and glory to God. He truly, truly is the head of my life for real. But my testimony truly is about the peace of God. And I want to, mm -hmm. this, this testimony about, about the peace of God is amazing. The peace that I have right now in this time of everything that's going on in our world right now. And I thank God for that peace. Because Jesus said, my peace I give you. Mm -hmm. And my peace I leave with you. Not right. the peace of the world. And so I thank God for the peace right now that surpasses all understanding because I really don't have any fear at all about nothing that's going on around me in this world. And so I thank God so very, very much for this amazing peace that he has given me. Amen. 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 And the peace yes, we all sir. can have. Yes, yeah. 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 I got a, a real quick testimony. because I mean, this, to me, this is, this is a testimony. Um, so about a little under three years ago, I got married. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the preparation for the marriage and for the wedding and things like that, um, just in the planning, I was like, listen, man, we don't need to have no ceremony. Let's just go to the courthouse and get this done with. Save this money and, and do <laughs> and do all of that. And and we realized though that our our marriage ceremony, our wedding ceremony was purpose. It was a reason why it had to be done the way it was done. And we do thank God for it. But I, I thank God for what he gave me. I, he dropped the word in my spirit, I want to say, back in like December. And the word was shift. And um, and I'm watching how God is, is doing a shift in my generation. Amen. I want to say within the last three, three as a matter of fact, in the, in the past week, I watched three couples, uh, young couples my age, or got the news, three young couples my age, decided that they weren't going to have a wedding ceremony. But they were going to go and get married because their focus was on the marriage. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that because so often in this, this new generation, on, a sorry. lot of people do everything for social media. Yeah. For the pictures. For right. yeah. the show, right? So we're mm -hmm. out here spending twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a wedding ceremony that's going to last 15 minutes and to feed a bunch of people that probably don't even like us. Right? <laughs> Now, here's the thing. If that's the route somebody wants to go, that is fine and dandy. I'm not talking about anybody. But I, I watched how these young couples, again, they're, they're no older than maybe 31. The oldest couple may have been 31 years of age. They said that they wanted to do things right by God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, they mm -hmm. went and got married. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. And they said that now, now here's the thing. They said as married couples now, as married couples, we're going to plan our wedding ceremony. Praise for God. Mm -hmm. Praise I just God. thank God that, and I'm, and I'm really praying that this, this again, I feel, I feel a shift, and I pray yeah. that this thing catches mm -hmm. on to where people in my generation, because a lot of people in my generation have given up on quote-unquote love and marriage. They feel like titles and stuff don't matter. It's just it a piece matter. of paper. Yeah. But yeah. If, we only, if we really understand the, the honor that comes mm -hmm. with being able to call yourself a husband or being able to call yourself One a wife, God. man, right. God gave those titles, and that's a covenant you make before him. So this is yes. this is high stuff right here. This yeah. is not just a piece of paper. Yes, Lord. So I pray that, that this catches on with my generation to where people will say, Listen, we want to do something right in the sight of God, Glory the to true God. living God. We want to get back to God as a generation, mm -hmm. and they come and they focus on the marriage and not the wedding. So I that's think right. God, three right. couples that I was able to see that encouraged me that, hey, man, people, there are people out here that still want to do this thing the right way, and they want to they, they want to focus on what's really important, and that is the marriage. So I think right. God raised God. Amen. 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 That's all right. We thank you all for your testimony. Continue to honor God. He deserves it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, thank you for your testimonies. In the absence of Sister Tamika, I bring you your announcements today. Um, the true deliverance, uh, and, unless something changes, but as for right now, uh, April the 20th, uh, we've been invited to go and uh, 
fellowship with uh, True Deliverance Ministries under the pastor, under the uh, stewardship of uh, Apostle Sadali and elect lady Patricia Cole uh, to celebrate their Founders Day service on Amen. April the 20th Amen. at 7 p.m. That's a Monday. And uh, the theme that they have uh, uh, chosen here is um, serving the Lord with gladness mm -hmm. coming out of I'm sorry, Psalms 100 verse 2. Mm -hmm. So unless the Lord say different, or I guess unless Judge Blackburn say different, we and, uh, or unless True Deliverance decides to postpone this, mm -hmm. we're still looking for that <laughs> April the 20th, uh, 7 p.m. True Deliverance celebrating their Founders Day service. I want to also remind you that today is Fifth Sunday. All right. All right. All right. It's Fifth right. Sunday, y'all. Yeah. And this is what we call our Cans for Hope. Uh -huh. uh, we collect uh, cans uh, to be uh, uh, changed into cash so that we can support Hope Pregnancy Center here locally. Uh, and those cans come in handy. Those cans are, uh, that cash comes in handy. It, it helps uh, uh, young people, it helps with getting ultrasounds. And a whole lot of things. We just want to be a blessing to the yeah. community. Yeah. So yeah. if you would do that, we really appreciate it. Uh, also, uh, we Bishop sent a, in a uh, text message out that we will not be having uh, sisters with purpose or or brotherhood or um, choir rehearsal until further notice. But we will be back here on Wednesday night Amen. at 6 p.m. to uh, live feed our Bible study. The Lord told us that we are to continue to conduct the church service and the worship service a as usual. So we come to this building when we're supposed to come to this building, this house, because we know that this studio converts itself unto the house of God when the church of God, us, walk in here. Amen. So he told us that he wants us to be in the house of God to do those things that God has called us to do. Now, I don't think that was all the announcements that I have. Did we have anything from the pulpit? Well, we get ready. Are you getting ready to do uh, emphasis? Yeah. Okay, well, do the emphasis and then um, just before we do uh, the, the uh, worship group giving out to our Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wanted to just encourage John. You know, God showed you something, sir. That, that You know, that the first institution that God ordained was marriage. Mm -hmm. Amen. The very Amen. first one was marriage. He did that back in the Garden of Eden mm -hmm. when he said, Amen. you know. So with that being said, you know, we're thanking God because you know that the marriage, the family is the cornerstone of the church. Amen. Yes. Amen. So with uh, that being said, we're going to have our, those have been your announcements. We pray you govern yourselves accordingly. And we're going to have our mission emphasis now, please. Amen. Amen. All right. For our mission emphasis, we have been going um, we started a few statements ago, and it's the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. And that's what we're, we're just going to touch on that just for a few minutes. I just want to remind everyone that the Annie Armstrong um, Easter offering is about the North American missions. That means missions here all over the United States. And I'll outline um, Canada. Canada and Mexico, and Mexico right. those outlying places. But did you all know that there are over 362 three million people in North America. There are over 350 languages and more than 14 religions, mm -hmm. all right? Wow. Of that now, 273 million have no relationship with Jesus. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Man. So the mission field is wide. That's right. We wow. need people that are out there that want to do the mission. We have missionaries that are out there that are putting their life on the line. Their lives are on the line out mm -hmm. there right now going through this with, with the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So let's, the, the um, theme this year is all about the gospel. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the gospel. We have plenty of time right now. We are all at home with one another. We have time to study the gospel. But let's be prayerful and pray for those missionaries that are out there. We have a goal right here at Red Sea of $500 for um by Easter Sunday, we're at $394. Praise God. Amen. So let's continue to be prayerful. And um, it's all about the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Thank Amen. you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Y'all. 
Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus time. Thank you, Bishop. You know. Amen. So we we're a little off right now, but listen, this is what I want to say to you. Those who are uh, viewing from from the live stream and everything, uh, those of you who uh, have a desire to give your tithes and your offering, uh, give us a call. Uh, we'll have our deacons to come to you and collect the tithes and the offering from you and, uh, and bring them uh, to the church so that we can do what it is that we've been called to do with our tithes and our offering. Once again, if you have a desire to give your tithes and your offering today, <clears throat> get in touch with uh, Deacon David, and if you can't get in touch with him, you don't have his number, call me or Reverend Stevenson, and we'll get somebody to come and get your tithes and your offerings from you, okay? All Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder for our viewing audience, yes, the, the tithes and offerings, you know, we may not be in the building, but we still got to pay rent. <laughs> Amen. Still got to stay on. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Open like the door and turn on the listen, lights. Listen, right? listen, 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 listen. We, we don't, uh, uh, Bishop Stevenson does not receive a, a, a salary from the church, so it ain't about that. For sure. It's about us being obedient to God, what he done told us to do, and yeah, those are things that still need to be done. In the house of God, we still have missions that we have to do, mm -hmm. and so with that, with our tithe and offering, then we still need to give to our Annie Armstrong Easter offering. We want to support those missionaries. Every dime of that money, every penny of that money, is going to go to that 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 is, is uh, earmarked to go to that mission emphasis to support those missionaries in North America. So, mm -hmm. as our uh, deacon. And usher, come forward here in the uh, church. Will y'all be praying with us, please? Amen. Amen. God is powerful and he's holy and his love and his faithfulness endures forever. 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 His faithfulness endures. Father, we do thank you for this privilege. It is a privilege and an honor to give back to you, God, what you have lavishly and abundantly blessed your people with, God. And so, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus to bless it for the establishment, extension, and expansion of your kingdom here on earth, Father. We thank you for every willing heart right now, God, and every, that, and every willing hand, God. We thank you, Lord, for giving seed to the soil, Lord, so that there may be a harvest, that there may be more seed for the soil, Lord. We thank you, God, for blessing this to overflow so that we can continue to do what you called us to do. But we thank you most of all for Jesus who paid it all himself. And it's in his precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 His faithfulness endures. Yes, his faithfulness does endure. Throughout all generations. Um, our, our wonderful worship leader, John, is going to come back and lead us in our last uh, inspirational song. And immediately following that, we're all going to stand and sing our hymn of affirmation. I would trust the Lord as we prepare our hearts to receive the inspired word of God given by Bishop himself today. Will you pray with me as we uplift Bishop? Father, in the name of Jesus, we're thanking you right now, Lord, for your faithfulness that has endured, Lord, even unto today, Lord. The Bible says it endures throughout all generations, but it's enduring right now. And so, Father, we uphold Bishop before you right now, thanking you for this word that you've given him, thanking you for his due diligence and in, 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 in laboring in this word, Lord. We're thanking you, Lord, right now that as it's been marinating and saturating in his spirit, Lord, that you would bring it forth for such a time as this. So touch him right now, Lord, and give him preaching power from the throne room of glory, God. Touch him right now, God. Don't let him look upon our faces and be dismayed. Don't let him be distracted by anything to include the camera right now. But let him preach an uncompromising word to, so that we can be healed, delivered, saved, and set free. But while you're touching Bishop, Lord, we beseech you, please don't leave us out, Father. Touch us and give us teachable spirits and receptive hearts today. Don't let us get distracted by the phone or, or anything that may be going on in our different households. But let us be in tune right now to hear what thus say the Lord. We need a word from the Lord today. We need a word from the Lord every day. But during these times right now, we need to hear what the instructions are from God for his people right now. So we say, Holy Spirit, we speak. You speak. We hear and we obey. Holy Spirit, our prayer is that you would have your way with us. And this is Jesus' mighty name that we do pray. And only those Greeks said, amen. amen. Say amen with me. I amen. say amen, amen as well. Amen. Come on, John. We love you. We love you, John.
treat everybody right until I die. And I'm going to treat everybody right. And I'm going to treat everybody right. And I'm going to treat everybody right. Until I again allowed us to assemble ourselves together in your house Thank to you, give Lord. you the house to give you the glory I'm sorry to give you the honor and the glory that's due to you a holy and a sovereign God father I'm so grateful that you all so allow me once again to stand behind your sacred that you Thank proclaim you. your uncompromising gospel to the people so now father I pray in the name of Jesus that as I decrease that you would increase that you would touch my mouth and give me preaching power from the throne room of glory yes Lord now father I pray in the name of Jesus that you would touch the spiritual ears of your people that they may hear a rainbow word from heaven. Then, oh God, I pray that you will touch the spiritual eyes of your people, that they will continue to see the hand of God move in this yes, place Jesus. today. Yes, Jesus. Then, oh God, I pray that you will touch the hearts of your people, that we will all, that we'll all receive and accept that which is the Holy Spirit is going to say to us. So, Father, we pray now in the name of Jesus that you will come on, have your way in this place, mm -hmm. heal us. Deliver us and set us free by your mighty have power. Have your way, Lord. This have your way. Have your today. way. In God. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 Soldiers in honor of the Lord, please say it all. Oh, this, this is, is my Lord. weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil. The fight is on. Amen. Man, see, you're sounding good. If you would, before you take your seats, go to Romans chapter 15, verse 13, please. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. And then I'll let you have your seats. Hallelujah. Romans, that's Romans chapter 15, verse number 13. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So our Bible declares in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the ears, the readers, Amen. and the doers of his word. You may be seated in the presence of our life and the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen, God. Thank you. We are still dealing with the subject of open those doors and turn those lights back on. All right. Our first subtitle would be Stop Running from the Coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But our, our next title is what we're going to be, our subject today is our hope is in God. Amen. All right, Our hope is in God. Can you say that for me? Our, Our hope, hope is, is in God. 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 Our hope is in God. Thank you, Lord. We need to understand, family, during this, <clears throat> during this day, during this hour, during this season of I'm kind of tired of talking about it, but since the Lord has still got me on it, I have to continue to talk about it for a little while. This thing called a coronavirus. During this time of this pandemic, <laughs> epidemic, whatever it is that we want to call it, our only hope is in God. That's right. And the reason, John, our only hope is in God is because nobody else has the answer. Right. Nobody right. else can help. Right. There's nothing that no one else can do. <coughs> our hope is in God. Amen. And I'm going to deal with this word hope if you just bear with me for a minute. I want to start at verse number 7 in Romans 15, verse number 7, and we're going to read back to verse 13 as we launch this plane, as we take off to see what it is that the Holy Spirit is about to talk to us about, okay? Starting at verse 7, here's what it says. It says, Wherefore receive ye one another as Christ also received us, watch this, to the glory <laughs> of God. So see, Lane, the reason I went back there is because the first thing that God want, to say, want me to say to us is, this is a time that we ought to be doing things to bring glory to God. Amen. All right. If we put our hope in God, God will get some glory during this time Amen. of yeah. trouble in our way. Yeah. Right. Verse yeah. number eight says, now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister, watch this, of the circumcision for the truth of God. Watch this, to confirm the promise made unto the fathers. Now let's look at verse number eight for a minute. A few things I want to look at for John. Watch this now. 
<clears throat> it says, now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision, watch this, for the truth. He, he, the, the, the circumcision was a mark that that said that a person was a true believer in God. Amen. Right. The right. circumcision was that thing, was that mark on us that said that we were a, a child of God back in the day. Well, the circumcision of the heart is, is what was going on now. It's not the foreskin anymore. It's the circumcision of the heart. Right. And when there's a change of heart, that's the evidence that you are a child of God. But it also says this, Reverend Stephen, so watch it says, Watch this, it says, for the truth, watch this, to confirm the promise made unto the fathers. Watch this now. So it was a sign, John, that, that we are true children of God, but it also served as a mark of a promise made from God. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all, y'all, okay. Right. Watch this. Not only, was it a, not only was it a mark, a sign that we were believers, but it, was, it also stands as a mark of the right. promise that Amen. God made. To his people. Right. And God wanted me to say this to us. You got to understand, God has made us some promises. Amen. And God has yeah. promised now to leave us, yeah. not to forsake us, so we can stop hiding from coronavirus because God haven't left us or forsaken us. Right. He's still with us, Amen. even during the coronavirus. Amen. Right. But we are acting like God has left us, like God has right. forsaken us, like God has fell us right. in this time. The failure is us not calling on God. Amen. The failure is us not having hope and believing and trusting in yeah. God. That's the failing part. Yeah. That's the failure, David. Watch now verse number nine. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. Now watch this. The Bible says, Jesus said that we ought to be like a city of light set up on a hill so men can see our good works and Glorify our heavenly Father. On, what we ought to be doing is thanking God for His mercy Thank right now. I wish I had a church for real, David. Lord. What we ought to be doing is thanking God yeah. for His mercy right now. Yes, yeah, some people have gone away by coronavirus, but a whole lot of us haven't. Amen. And we ought to be thanking God for His mercy because a lot more of us ought to be dead. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I said we ought to be dead because we've been acting like Gentiles and not Christians. All right. Amen, sir. But God's mercy has kept us. Y'all know the song. Mm -hmm. God's mercy have kept us. Yeah. But we acting like we don't have no hope or no reason for hope. But God's mercy and His grace have kept us. Amen. Come on here, on me. I, 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 I'm feeling this thing He's already, faithful. Reverend. I'm feeling it already. Watch this. Still in verse 9. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. Give him some glory for mercy. Hallelujah. As, it Hallelujah. Is written, as it is written, this cause, for this cause, I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. Right now, we ought to be confessing the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Mm -hmm. We ought to be lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and Amen. singing songs that glorify right. his name. Amen. We ought to be singing the name of Jesus from the rooftops. All right. everybody All right. All right. All right. We ought to be saying, I know a God that's able. Amen. I, right. say, I know right. a God that's right. able and he Amen. will. Right. Amen. Amen. We shouldn't be having the same thing, Timothy, coming out of our mouth that the world got coming out of their mouth. Right. Come on, sir. We should be lifting up the name of Jesus. We should be glorifying him and telling somebody, I know a God that's able. Yes. I know the great physician, since the physicians we have can't do nothing for us. Right. Oh, come right. on here. Right. I say, that's I know right. a great physician who can heal while the physicians we have can't do nothing for us at all. I know I just get excited by myself. Y'all got to excuse me. <laughs> Verse number 10. And again, I said, he, I'm sorry, and again, he said, rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. We ought to be rejoicing right now. This is a time for us to rejoice. Right. This is a time for us to rejoice. Why? Because of all the good that's coming because of coronavirus. Oh, yeah. Come on, sir. Come, Come on, yeah. Because it, of it. all of the good that's coming from coronavirus, we ought to be rejoicing. Yeah. We shouldn't be walking around with our heads hanging down. Watch this here. Because God has given us a time to reconcile with our husbands and our wives. Amen. He's given us time to reconcile with our sons and our daughters. Mm. He's given us time to enter into rest when we couldn't get no rest at all right. so that we can have the rest of what God has for us. Amen. He's all, he, look, he's put some people on vacation who wish they could have had one. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen, right. And he's paying them while they own it. Right. Amen. Come on here, y'all. Yeah. Come on here. Hallelujah. I say he done put folks on vacation Hallelujah. that wish they could have had a vacation Hallelujah. and Hallelujah. now they own vacation Hallelujah. but they ain't giving God no Hallelujah. glory. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, God can, God can answer a whole lot of prayer, David, for some people. And ain't nobody standing up giving God no glory for it. Yes, Everybody looking yes, at Corona yes, like it's yes, just end all, yes, be all. Yes. When God is answering prayer.
prayers because of coronavirus. Right. He used coronavirus to answer some prayers. Glory. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you, Timothy. Because there was some wayward children out there in the street that God didn't pull them to the house because Amen. of coronavirus. Right, right, I right, said he right. pulled them back to the house. Right. Amen. Speak, sir. Amen. Speak. Amen. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what Amen. God has showed me. I know what God has showed me. We ought to be rejoicing because of all the good that then came and from this. Good, sir. That's right. Watch this here. Watch this here. I ain't oh, had time. I can I don't have time to pray. Well, you got a whole lot of time to right. pray. Not because right. you ain't got time to do nothing else. Right. right. You ain't got nothing else to do with your time. Right. Right. I, I wish right. I could spend more time with God. Well, you can now. Uh huh. A whole lot of prayers, brother, have been answered right yes, now. Sir. God yes, didn't use coronavirus to answer a whole lot of prayers yes, right now. Yes. I wish I could spend more time with my yes. husband. I wish my husband would be yes. home more. Don't make yes. me do it. I wish my husband could be home more. I wish my daughter, my, my wife could be home more. Mm. All these prayers been answered by God. Yes. Yes. And ain't nobody giving him no glory because everybody looking at corona as a negative. Yes, sir. With all the positive that's going on now. Everybody at home, I wish my family, I wish we could spend more time together as a family. Let me tell you what else he done done, John. Mm -hmm. He done gave us an opportunity now to train up our children in the way that they should go. Right. So when they old, they won't depart. Yeah. And God said, I don't care how old they are, they're in your house and you can still train them up. Yeah. That's right, yeah. that's right. You can still, and all of this, watch this, and God is using coronavirus to do all this. Yeah. Yeah. No other influence. I wish I had, on, I wish sir, I had somebody who was going to act right today. Amen. Yeah, yeah Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse number 11. Y'all with me? Yes. Mm. Again and again, praise the Lord. So that's letting me know that we ought to be praising God. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have a reason to praise God. Always. And again, praise the Lord. Watch this. All you Gentiles, watch this. And allude. Watch this. Watch this. And allude him, all ye my people. I looked up that word, uh, Reverend. Mm. I looked up that word. And this is what that word means. It means to revere or to reverence God. Mm -hmm. It also means to honor God. All right. It means to exalt and to glorify God. Yeah. So right now, we ought to be reverencing God. Love we ought to be God. honoring God right now. We ought to be exalting God and glorifying God yeah. right now. That's yeah. right. And That's what we all. ought to be doing like this yes. around the yes. Gentiles. Yes. Yes. Right. right. I say That's around right. the Gentiles. That's what we ought to be doing. Yeah. Right. That's While right. the Gentiles is walking around with their heads hanging low, we ought to be lifting up the name of Jesus. That's right. We ought to be honoring God I right now. We ought to be exalting him and glorifying him right now. That's right. Our heads ought to be up. Come on, sir. Oh, my goodness. Come on, sir. Verse 12, verse 12. And again, Isaiah right. said, there shall be a root of Jesse. That's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he shall, watch this, he that shall uh, rise and to, to reign over the Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. Amen. Right now, we ought to be trusting God. Right. Our hope, our only hope, David, is in God. My trust should be in God right now. I'm not talking about unbelievers, Sister Elaine. They don't know nothing about trusting in God. But you can trust in God. You know why? Because the trust is already in you. Amen. Amen. Hold on, hold Amen. on. God then Amen. gave you trust Amen. in the spirit of his son, the Holy Ghost. Is the trust of God in Amen. you? Why now? Is the faith of God in yeah, you? Come on right. here. Is yeah. the confidence of God in you? Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Is yeah. the yeah. faith of God in you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to do my best, Reverend. Right. Calm down a little bit. I'm going to do my best. That's all right. Watch now. Watch now. Watch now. In him, that's Jesus, mm -hmm. shall the Gentiles trust. The, 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 the word Gentile is just separating us from Jews. That's Jews and Gentiles. We, 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 was, we was, watch this here, we was born again into the, into the faith, into the body of Christ. We wasn't that normal, that regular chosen people the Jews were. Right. And so we've been grafted in. We've right. been grafted in. So we, were, we have been, uh, uh, we were the Gentiles because we were outside of the Jewish nation. Right. Okay. And so watch this right now. We back to verse number 13, y'all. Now the God of hope, now now that, that word, John, that word hope right there, that word hope right now, here's what it is. The, the, the word, the, that, that Hebrew, that, 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 watch it, that Greek word is elpis, E-L-P-I-S, elpis. Let me tell you what it means, Sister Elaine, because this is important. It means, watch this, to anticipate with pleasure. Hallelujah. Oh, my Hallelujah. goodness. All right. All look, right. look, 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 E L P I S. It means to to anticipate to anticipate with pleasure. Mm -hmm. 
Watch now. It means expectation, confidence, and faith. Mm. I, I, I got to work it for you, David. I got to work it for you because it blessed my soul so much. And so I'm really here to encourage us today. I'm, right, I'm really here. Right. This is Thank not to you. beat you down, but this is to encourage you and let you know that, that we should not be mirroring the image of lost people. Right. Of the That's image right. of the world. Do not be, listen, don't be conformed mm -hmm. to the ways of this world. Pressed in the mold and the shape of this world. But be ye transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. This is a renewing of our mind today. Yeah. Thank it's you. a renewing yeah. of your mind. This is, the, this is bringing something back to your remembrance. You got a hope and a lie to the one at that. Mm -hmm. You got a reason to have hope in God. Amen. You got a reason to have faith in God because God has showed you that you can right. have faith in him. Listen, friends. Listen. Watch now. Watch now. Watch now. Let me read the whole verse. Now the God of hope, Elpis, fill you. Say completely. Completely. Uh, watch this. Fill you. Watch this. With all joy. All right. With all joy. Watch John. With all joy because the joy of the Lord is my strength. strength. Come on, somebody else don't strength. Bible. Watch yes. this. And the peace in believing. <clears throat> Listen. Th there's a peace that comes to you when you believe in the Lord. Yes. Right. There right. is a peace that comes into your life you when him. you trust in God. Yes. Right. I yes. wish I had a church yes. for real. Yes. That is a peace that comes when you put your faith in God. You know why? Because you don't have to worry about a thing. No, oh, no. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's right. And I know the Lord is watching. Over if, if I know the Lord is watching over me, I don't have to worry about a thing. That peace comes with that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a peace that surpasses all understanding. You can't explain yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But you Thank know you, you ain't worried about a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Listen, he said, with that hope, John, comes a joy. It comes the joy of the Lord and peace in believing. It comes in the believing. Watch this. That you may abound. Watch now, and I want to deal with this, Reverend, because that word abound, look what it means. It means to excel, mm -hmm. to have more, mm -hmm. to increase, and to remain. Let me tell you why this is important, Reverend. Let me tell you why this is important. Because in this time of so-called crisis in our world, boy, I feel this in the church. I feel this women. Because in the midst of this so-called crisis that we in, you ought to still be as a Christian to excel. All right. All right. Amen. All right. While right. everybody else is losing, right. while everybody's being yeah. diminished and decreasing, you right. ought to be increasing. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. This ain't to pump you up. Yeah. This to encourage you, though, as yeah. a born-again believer, Hallelujah. that you should not be acting like the world right now. Right. Because God said all things are now ready. Oh, Hallelujah. yeah. Yeah. This is the year of clarity for you. Yeah. Yeah. This is the year that money is coming to the body of Christ. Yeah. Right. And because all things are now ready, you ought to still be able to excel. Amen. Right. You right. ought to right. be able to have more. Yeah. Yeah. You ought to be able to increase yeah. and remain. Yes, While right. everybody else is falling to the wayside, you can remain. Amen. While everybody else is dying, everything else is dying, you can remain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I had a yeah. church up in here for real. Yeah. Amen. As yeah. long as the earth remains, That's there's right. still seed time yeah. and harvest. Boy, I wish I had somebody in their Bible right now. Hallelujah. He said, while wow, all of this is going on, my people ought to be excelling right now. Man, I wish I... Because, see, we're not governed by the world system. We're not bound Hallelujah. by the world system. So Hallelujah. we should be excelling right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. It's, our hour, it's our hour to yeah. rise and shine Amen. as believers. Yeah. 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 Oh, Amen. man, I, I don't have no yeah. help for real. Amen. Amen. I don't have no help for real. Amen. That word abound means to excel. It means to have more. It means to have more. Watch this. It don't mean you go out and buy everything that you ain't supposed uh, to need. Right. right. That's right. No, no. But it means that you're supposed to have more. Because you ain't depending on what everybody else is depending on. Amen. You don't need that to live. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the holy and the sovereign God. Right. right. I wish I had some help for yes, real out of here. Watch, Reverend. It means to have more. It means to increase. Mm. It means to increase. While everybody else, where everything is falling off for everybody else, you ought to be increasing. Amen. The reason you ought to be increasing because watch this here. While everything else is dying, God is drawing people to you. All right. If you got some faith, God is drawing right. the same right. people right. to you. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on yes. here, somebody. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Thank you, Father. 
Them people, listen, 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 they don't just leave somewhere to go nowhere. No, they leave somewhere to come somewhere. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. You ought to be increasing right now. Amen. Every, every Christian business person ought to be increasing right now. All right. Amen. Mm. Okay, Amen. I can't get no help. All right. Amen. It means to remain. It means to remain. It means to remain. Watch this here. When the winds and the waves come and beat the heavenly, oh, don't make me do it. When the winds and the waves come and beat the heavenly on me, my house will not fall. It will continue to stand Hallelujah. because mine is built upon a rock. That rock is called Jesus. Mine is built upon a rock. So I don't have to worry about mine. I don't have to worry about mine falling apart. That's right. I don't have to worry about no collapsing in mine. Yes, Lord. Because of what mine is built upon. Right. Right. Oh, it's solid. It's, it's solid, solid, it's solid. solid. There's a rock. It's solid. It's solid. It's solid. It's solid. Ooh, we. I don't know about you, but I'm so hopeful right now. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Yes. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And so I got to give this thing to you the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. Watch, Reverend. The word. Watch this. To anticipate with pleasure. Watch this. It means to expect and to look forward That's to. That's good. Expect. To expect. expect and to look forward to. As born again believers, I ought to expect and have something to look forward to. Amen. Watch this here, with pleasure. Right. Amen. There you go. There you go. All right. I say with pleasure. <laughs> I'm looking forward at this. When stuff like this happens in our world, friend, listen, when stuff like this happens in our world, watch this here. This is an opportunity for God. That's what this I is an opportunity for God, God to show up and do yeah. something. Yeah, this is an opportunity yeah. for God to show up and do something. But watch this here. But God can't do something where there is no hope. Right. God can't do something where there is no expectation. Come on, he sir. can't do something where there is no faith. Mm -hmm. mm. You're right, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. He can't do nothing in places like that. And so here's the this the sad part. Can somebody say the sad part? The, the sad, sad part. The sad part is the church don't have no faith. Oh, oh, all right. This ain't about the unbelievers. I say the sad part is the church don't have no faith. Mm. So God can't even do nothing in the church because the church don't have no faith. Right. Yeah. Oh, ye of little faith. That's it. Where little. is your faith? It's little. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's when the church, Timothy, when the church will go to God and say, don't you care that if we perish? That's mm -hmm. what they say. Right. Why would you go to God and say that? Watch this here. Well, they, you know say that, they say that, David. They go wake him up uh -huh. because he's only a prayer away. Right. They wake him up and say, don't you care <laughs> that we perish? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, you of little faith, where is your faith? Mm -hmm. He stands up. Right. Watch now. Watch now. Peace be Still. All right. And the storm ceased. He said, now where is your faith? Mm -hmm. Why would you say that to God when God is with you? If he didn't care, he wouldn't be with you. Mm -hmm. That's right. I said if he didn't care, he wouldn't have been on the boat with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on, Lord. If he didn't care, he wouldn't be in a relationship with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You done forgot the promise. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you done forgot the mm. promise. The scripture says in Matthew chapter 13, 58, if you don't mind. <clears throat> Matthew 13. Mm -hmm. Amen. Make sure I'm in the right place here. Let me see if I'm in the, am I in the right place. Let me, let me look at my scripture right quick, brother. Let me get my mm -hmm. Uh huh. Watch what it says, verse fifty-eight. And he did not many mighty works there because, because of their unbelief. That's why mm. it worked. He couldn't do no work there. He can't do no work in a place that where there is no hope. Mm. Mm. There's no confidence in him. Right. There's no faith in him. There's no expectation, John, mm. in him. Mm. So he couldn't do mighty works there. Couldn't do many mighty works there. Sad part is, here we go with the sad part again. Say, that's the sad part again. That's the sad, sad part, part again. Here it is, Christian people, mm. those of us who say we Christians are not expecting anything from God right now. Wow. Mm. Not expecting God to do anything. See, I done talked to Christians, son. I done talked to Christians that say stuff like this. Well, you know, I, I don't want to go to church because, see, I, I, I catch coronavirus at church. Huh. See, that's why God can't do nothing. Wow. 
Right. You believe God gonna let you go to church and catch the coronavirus. Mm. Right. So if you Amen. believe that as right. a Christian, why would a non-believer come right. to get some help? Right. If you don't believe there's no help in the house All of right. God, right. there's no power in the house of God for the yeah. children of God. Mm -hmm. A non-believer ain't coming. That's right. But you can go to the grocery store and, and catch it. But but you can't come to church and catch it. You scared to come to, but you ain't scared to don't go nowhere else to catch it. That's sad, man. That's sad. That's I'm talking. That's where the church is right now. The church yeah. right now. That's where the church is right now. Our hope, David, is in God. Mm -hmm. In the sad commentary, mm -hmm. that that came from Apostle Hopeman. He he did like saying the sad commentary. Mm -hmm. and I just kind of used that just then. Mm -hmm. Just want y'all to know, I ain't stole it. I just borrowed it for a minute. <laughs> he said that's sad. That's sad that the church mm -hmm. is in that condition position and posture mm -hmm. and God can't do nothing for us or with us or nobody else for that fact because we've been a hindrance and a stumbling block yeah. All right. <clears throat> that's the part ain't nobody want to hear mm. but we've been an absolute hindrance and a stumbling block yes we are, y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. watch this now because that word help is that word help is it means to anticipate with pleasure expectation confidence and faith and trust in God can we go to John 14, 1, please. Yes, sir. We're going to walk this Bible down, Timothy. We're going to walk it down. I'm, I'm so excited, friend. I'm, I'm so excited for real. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, family, because you know what? Because I was telling my wife, and I even shared with, with the, the congregation here this morning. I, it's just something, I, I just sense something's about to happen, something powerful is about to happen. Mm. There's something going on that we just haven't seen. Right. We, haven't, we haven't tapped into. The reason for that, though, is, is because we didn't have no trust in God. Oh, it's because right. we didn't have no faith and no hope in God. And so I said to God, Lord, I, I want to know what's going on. Please share with me what's going on right now. Yeah, yeah, just keep, I, because I, look, I'm expecting something to happen. I'm expecting God to do something. Yes. This, this is the hour for God to do something. When can't nobody else do nothing? Right. He can do it. Amen. It might be impossible for man, but ain't nothing too hard and impossible for God. Mm -hmm. Come on here, Reverend. Thank you for that. All things. All things are possible with God. Yes. John 14, verse 1. Look what it says. Mm -hmm. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in God. In me. Come on, no, 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 watch this now. Watch this now because this is Jesus talking. Watch this. Watch this. Timothy, that word belief right there in, in the Greek is pistuo. P I S T E U O. Pistuo. It means, watch this, it means to put or to place your trust somewhere. Uh -huh. It means for you to purposely, watch this here, purposely, Come intensely on. make up your mind that you're going to put your trust. Right. Watch, 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 this, right. watch this here. I'm right. going to carry my trust over here. Yeah. Right. So, right. And I'm going to put right. it there and leave it yeah. right there. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. going to yeah. tote it over there yeah. and right. put right. it right, right there. Come on here, somebody. Right. That's exactly what it means. Mm -hmm. So watch what Jesus said. So the, what we say. What is it? So to me, I hope you watch it because I felt you in my spirit. Right. All right. Watch this here. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, do not get stirred up about this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop getting stirred up about this. Mm -hmm. Stop getting moved and shook about this. Let not your heart be troubled. Stop getting discouraged about this. Watch this. He said, now watch this. He said, you believe. Watch this. You believe. Pissed you off. You believe in God. Watch this, John. Watch this. You have expectation in God. Mm -hmm. Have expectation in me. Mm -hmm. Watch now, watch now. You got confidence in God? Have put confidence in me. All right. Come on, come on. All you right. got faith in God? Also put your faith in me. Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Watch this because me and God are one. One. We, one. Won. Mm -hmm. we won. We won. We won. Don't stop letting your heart be troubled. Stop, stop being so overly concerned mm -hmm. about what's going on out here. Because watch, it, it, it can touch everybody around you and never touch you at all. Right, that's right. Man, I wish I had somebody right. really so, want to have some church today. Yes, sir. They really want to have some church today. Like the only life. thing, brother, let me tell you something. The only thing, sister and brother, the only thing that will bring this to you is your fear, doubt, and unbelief. Right. Yeah. Your yeah. fear, doubt, yeah. and unbelief will bring the yeah. hands of protection from around you, right. and now you're vulnerable to that. Yes, sir. Amen. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. First John chapter 5. Come on, y'all. First John chapter 5. Because remember what the word means. Elpis, remember what it means. It's to mean to anticipate with pleasure, expectation, confidence, faith, and trust. Yes. Watch now, because first John says, if we believe that God hears us when we pray, hmm. we can expect some things from God. That's right. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you because I got to encourage you today. All right. We're gonna start at verse 13. First John 5 and 13. We start now. Amen. Amen. Gotta help you today. Want to encourage you today. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5, we there? Amen. <coughs> Verse 13, watch this. These things have I written unto you Amen. that believe. Y'all see that? Yes. Watch now. These things, these things, these things have I written unto you that, watch this, help us. Mm -hmm. that, that, that anticipates right. with pleasure. Don't make me do it. Yeah. I, I wrote right. this to y'all. I wrote, yeah. I wrote this to y'all. Yeah. See, yeah. I ain't write this. Don't make me do it. I'm thinking about right. people. Right. Y'all see the right. movie happen yeah. before I got some happy feet right now. As 
believers, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. But we just prayed it off our house, Boy, off my husband. Off, I, I don't. I just don't want to catch it. I, I got something for you. I just can't give it to you right now. <laughs> just can't give it to you right now. If you know that he heareth us, mm -hmm. and we do, whatsoever we ask, mm -hmm. we know we have the petition that we desire of him. If, watch this, if I, if I got expectation, if I'm right. anticipating, mm -hmm. if I'm expecting Watch now, watch now. If I'm confident in God and I trust God and believe God and have faith in him, then, then I have the petition. Right. Because the will of God right now, John, is that we walk in faith. Right. Walk by faith and not by sight. Let, 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 me, let, me, show you, let me show you the by sight. Somebody cough, folk run. Hmm. Yeah. Like everybody coughing got corona. Mm -hmm. Right. Like ain't nothing else make you cough. Right. right. Right? Ain't nothing make you cough but Corona. See somebody with a mask on, we run. Mm -hmm. That's walking by sight. Bye. Walk by faith. Mm -hmm. It don't touch a thousand folk, but it won't come nigh me. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Huh? I got subject out that that thing that is subject to me. Right. I got power over everything that move in the earth realm. All right. Because I got that when I was created. Mm. Y'all know right. I read your yeah. Bible, see? Yeah. Yeah. From the time I was created, I got that power. Mm -hmm. He said, let us make men our image and our, our light, and let us give him power and dominion over everything that move in the earth realm. Right. That's right. So right. if it comes in this earth realm, John, I got power and dominion over it. I don't care Amen. what the name of it is. When it comes in my jurisdiction, right. I got power over right. it. Do this right. stuff. Right. When yeah. it gets into the earth realm, it gets yeah. into my jurisdiction. And I got power over it. Amen. It's subject to me now. It goes under my feet now. Right. Speak right. it, sir. Mm. Speak it, sir. Right. Amen. 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 Our hope mm -hmm. is in God. Yeah. Let's go to James chapter one. Watch this now. James chapter one. Y'all ready? Yes, yes. Let's go to James chapter one. And we'll look at verse five through seven. <coughs> Y'all hanging in there with me? Yes, sir. Okay, we almost done. I say almost. We almost done. First, James chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. He just Amen. said, if we know God, hear us, John, we pray in the will of God, we know that we're going to get our petitions. Is that right? Right. Now, listen to what John said, because we're talking about our hope is in God, and we got to make sure that our hope is in God. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch what he says. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask mm -hmm. of God. <coughs> Watch this. That give it to all, him, all men. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I repeat that. All men liberally, mm -hmm. and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. Watch this. Mm -hmm. But let him ask in what? Faith. Faith. Watch now, watch now. Let him ask anticipating with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Let him ask expecting. That's let right. him ask with confidence and faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, watch this. But let him ask with faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Verse 7 now. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch now, watch right. now. If I am not anticipating with pleasure, mm -hmm. have no expectation, no confidence, no yeah. trust and faith in God, I can't expect to receive nothing from God. That's right. That's right. I can't expect my house mm -hmm. to be free from Quran mm -hmm. or no other virus if I'm operating in unbelief. Right. Right. You're down in unbelief. Yeah. It says, Timothy, in the scripture, it says, I can't expect to receive anything from God. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it is written. Amen. Our hope is in God. It's in God. Amen. Watch now. I want to, this is going to be powerful right here. Job chapter 31, please. Job chapter 31, we're going to start at verse 24, if I'm not mistaken. Let me get over there to find out. I want to show you something over here because here's where, here's where we, we have placed our hope at. Job talks about it over here. We're going to start at verse number 24, Reverend. In Job 31, starting from verse 24 to verse 28. Amen. 
Timothy, it talks about how, how he put his hope in gold. Y'all mm. mm. ready for this? Yeah. This is what it says. We're in Job chapter 31, starting at verse 24. We there? Amen. Watch what it says. If I have made gold my hope, my, watch this, my, 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 my what? My, my, antici hope. my anticipation, with yeah. pleasure, my yeah. expectation, my right. confidence, my faith and trust. Watch now. Why now? Y'all with me? Yes. Yeah. I have made gold my hope, or have said to the fine gold, thou art my confidence. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, because you know, you know gold got qualities, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know that, right? You yeah. got 2% gold, 3% gold. You got, yeah, yeah, 18 yeah. carry gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, 2 carry gold. It, so, so why did he say that? Because at first he said, if, 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 if I have made gold my hope, or have, well, I said, that fine gold, mm -hmm. thou art my confidence. If, if, if I rejoice because my wealth was great. And because my hand have gotten much. If, if I beheld the sun when it shined. Or the moon walking in the brightness. Watch this here. Watch this. And my heart has been secretly enticed. Or my mouth have kissed my hands. Watch this. On, this Lord. also, this also were an, watch now. An iniquity to be punished by the judge. Uh -huh. For I should have denied that God is above. Now watch what he's saying right there. Can I shorten this for you? Can I yeah. give you a synopsis of this? Yeah. Listen, listen what it means. Listen what it means, family. This is what he's saying. On, he said, now if, if I didn't put my trust in gold and find gold and stuff like that, right. and, and I'm kissing my hand and I'm blessing myself all That's of my right. own accomplishments right. and everything, right? Mm -hmm. What did he say? He said, that is saying that I have denied God. Mm -hmm. I have denied that there is a God. Mm -hmm. If I put my hope, my faith and trust in anything, any animate objects or anything created by God, I'm saying there is no God. Mm -hmm. I am denying that there's a God in heaven. Watch this here. But I'm also denying God the opportunity to do something in my life. Right. Yeah. I'm not just denying that he is. I'm denying him opportunity to work in my life. Right. According to what James just said, uh -huh. I'm denying him. I'm not allowing him, giving him authority to operate because he can't do anything where there is unbelief. All right. right. And for me to put my faith, my hope, my trust, my confidence, for me to anticipate something from anything else or anybody else, I'm saying God is not sufficient and he's not God at all. That's what I'm saying with my actions. I might not say it with my words, but my actions is speaking yes, just sir. as loud. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, some people might get mad at me when I say this. We put our hopes, we're anticipating things from people that's letting us down, mm -hmm. that's failing us, that's failing us, completely failing us. And so medicine is not even doing any good. Hmm. Medicine is not even because there's no medicine for it. They just they just try stuff. They just hip pocket shooting now. Right. They just hit, listen. They really practicing medicine now. Yeah. Y'all don't right. Yeah. They are practicing medicine. Mm -hmm. Rehearsing. Get it right. Medicine. That's you know that's all they're doing because ain't nobody being healed from nothing. If they can't hear you from cancer, what make you think they're going to hear you from corona? I, I can't get no help for real. All right. For real. All right. That they can't hear you from sugar diabetes, what make you think they can't even keep right. your blood pressure right. regulated? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Sarah. Yeah. I, I understand. I told you some people mad at me watching right now. They're <laughs> mad. You keep on taking your medicine. I ain't telling you not to take your medicine. You see, a lot of us, a lot of us have placed our hope, our confidence, our That's faith, thing, and right our there. trust in money and other people. Mm -hmm. But God is our only hope. All right. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 118. Psalms 118, please. Come on. Psalms 118. And we're going to look at uh, verse 8 and 9. Our hope is in God. Our only hope is God. And, and God is, and, and look, God is always at the ready. He's always at the ready, John. Mm -hmm. He, God is just waiting for one of his to cry to him. Mm -hmm. 
Because while everybody thinks that God is listening to every voice, he's only listening to his children. All right. He's only listening for his children. Yes. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that either. Mm. Psalms 118, verse 8 and 9, y'all there? Amen. Mm -hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. Watch now, watch now. All to right. anticipate. It's better to anticipate something from God. Mm -hmm. Have expectation, confidence, faith, and trust right. in God than man. Right. Okay, watch this. What he's talking about? What he's talking about right here? He's talking about your mama, your daddy, your friends, your, mm -hmm. your, your ace boom coons, your, your very best friends. That's what he's talking about right here because the next verse is talking about your government. Watch this. Uh -huh. All watch right. this. Verse 9. It is better to trust in the Lord. Watch this. Then put confidence in princes. That represents governments. Mm -hmm. Or watch this here. Or, 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 or the stimulus packet. Right. I know y'all right. don't want to hear that one right there. I know I was going to stick you in a pen. Right. Boom, and pop right. up on it. Right. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people that put a whole lot of hope and confidence yeah. in this stimulus packet, boy. Amen. No, he, here's my question. What if they What if they recant it right quick? What if they say, you know what? We didn't take our mind. We ain't doing that. Right. Yeah. Still God. Amen. God is still God, John. Amen. And God had already told us money was coming to the body. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And now yeah. the most yeah. stimulus back right. came out. But can yeah. I just share something with you? Can I just, can I just share something with you? Know? you know? That's one of the ways God's going to give us all. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. That ain't the I say that ain't it, but that's one of the ways he's gonna give us some. Run me yes, my son. check, Donald Trump. Come on here. Run it to me. Come on here now. I'm gonna give glory where glory is due. All I need right. glory to God right now for that because what God can say. That's Amen. one of the ways money coming to the body of Christ. Right. Absolutely. Any way you wanna do it. To push, that to push the agenda. So so what John he's saying right here, he said you can't put your trust in government funding, government programs. You can't put your trust there. Amen. You got to put God. your trust in God yeah. because God is the one that will never fail you. He's the one that will never forsake you. He's the one that will never leave you. He's the God that's able. Thank you, Lord. Thank Come you. Come on here. Proverbs chapter 14. We right next door. Proverbs chapter 14. We move out because I don't want y'all to get tired. Very good. Proverbs chapter 14. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at verse number. Let me get over here. Verse number. 26. Verse number 26. <clears throat> All these verses are dealing with Elpis because it talks about expectation. It talks about confidence and faith. All these scriptures are dealing with this. All right. <clears throat> are we there? Amen. Uh -huh. Verse 26. But, <clears throat> thank you, Reverend. In the fear, excuse me, let me give me a little water. <clears throat> I didn't right. this devil because he showed him what this to come out. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Verse, what did I say? Well, 26. Verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, that word fear is reverence, in the fear of the Lord, strong. is what is this? It's strong confidence. Strong. Y'all see this? Listen, 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 listen. It says, in the, listen, listen what it says now. In the fear of reverence of, of the Lord is strong confidence. All right. Mm. So if I got a reverence for God, I got a real reverence for God. I will have a strong confidence, a strong faith in God. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my rever, listen, my 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 my, my reverence for God, my reverence for God says something about me and what I think about Him, how I feel about Him. Yeah. It shows my respect for Him. Watch now, watch now, watch now. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Thank y'all, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Come thank on, you. Reverend. Thank you. My people will have a place of protection, a place of security. Mm -hmm. You see that, Timothy? Yes, sir. When I reverence God, when I have a respect for God, man, right. I have strong confidence, John. I, I'm not wavering. I'm not, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. We, we're not making light of what's going on in the world because it's a real thing. But our God is realer than that thing, though. All right. Our right. God is realer right. than that That's thing. Right. <clears throat> our God is bigger than that thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. So we're not making light of anything. And he said that comment, he said, and, and his children shall have a place of refuge. That's a place of security. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a place of, 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 of uh, what's my next word there? Assurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch the next verse. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life mm -hmm. to depart from the snare of death. 
Mm. Listen, <clears throat> listen. If I got reverence for God, guess what he's going to continue to do? He's going to continue to navigate my feet from death or anything right. that will bring death to y'all don't want to right. do it. All right. All right. Or All right. anything that could possibly bring death to me. Right. All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I don't have to be afraid, John. That's why I don't have to be overly concerned about this because my God has got me. Amen. I'm my, my steps are ordered by God. I'm not out here just doing what I want to do. Right. I'm being navigated by God, right. directed by God. There's a place of refuge for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. A very present help in times of trouble for me. God has taken care of us, Sister Elaine. We don't have to be out here fearful like that. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. So, so the world, so the world want to believe that that we foolish for the way we think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know why that is, though. Watch this. I'm gonna tell you why that is. Exactly. The reason is not just that, Reverend. Uh -uh, that's not the reason is because it's because of the way us as believers mm -hmm. act around. Uh oh. Uh -oh. We right. say one thing, but we act a whole different right. way. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So right. you foolish then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talking about it, but you ain't acting like you really got the faith that you say you got. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. You a fool. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. You being a fool right now. So you just gonna act like it, right? Mm -hmm. But you ain't really walking mm -hmm. in the power mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So we again we've been a stumbling block. Mm. Let, let's go to Proverbs chapter three. Proverbs chapter three. I'm trying to move this as swift as I can for y'all. Proverbs chapter three. But I gotta give it off too. Amen. Proverbs chapter three. We want to look at verse number uh, twenty-six. Amen. Well, I'm on twenty-five and twenty-six. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Look pretty good too. Twenty-four. When thou lie down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty-five. Be not afraid of sudden fear, mm -hmm. neither of the desolation of the wicked when it comes. Mm -hmm. Y'all see, see, yeah. see, 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 yeah. see, 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 right. See. All right. See, we don't want to believe that God, listen, we don't want to believe that God caused Corona. Mm -hmm. We all right with believing that he allowed it, but we don't want to believe that God caused it. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of the wickedness yep. uh -huh. that's going on. Yep. All right. See, I ain't going to get a whole yep. bunch of love from yep. that. Yep. I ain't going to get a whole yep. bunch of love from that. <laughs> But every time yeah. there's some wickedness going yeah. on, God unleashes something Please. on this oh, world. Right. Oh, yeah. I say every time some wickedness show up, God look, mm. he unleashes some 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, see, we can't, that's okay. I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of love out of this right here. Verse 26, for the Lord shall be thy confidence. Mm -hmm. I say when he unleashed John, when he unleashed this, this stuff on this world because of the wickedness. Watch this. The Lord shall be thy confident Amen. and shall keep thy foot from being taken. All right. All right. All right. Get no right. help over here. Y'all yes, know I yes. live this body. Y'all know we're going to yes. walk it out today yes. because yes. I'm going to give you some hope. Yes. If you are born again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you got something to have some hope in. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's right. That's yes. Right. Absolutely. He said, yeah, I'm going to unleash some stuff up in this world. Mm. He said, but I'm going to keep you. Glory. I'm going to keep you. Yeah, thank you, Father. Those of us who are sincerely walking with God, I'm right. going to keep yeah. you. Thank you, Father. Now, if you're not, you got something to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. You out here playing, you got something to be afraid of. That's right. But I'm going to tell you something. Our hope is in the Lord. That's right. It's in God, family. Mm -hmm. It's in God. It and I ain't going to let it go. Let's go to Proverbs 25. Oh, I'm going to give you something to, to, to go home and lay down with. Proverbs 25. Let me get over here where I need to be. <clears throat> Verse 19. My, my, my. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Are y'all ready? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let me know when you get there now. Let me take another sweep of this water. Let me know, know when y'all ready. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Reverend. Thank you. I know I got to choose my words carefully. Y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Proverbs 25, 19, watch this. Confidence in an unfaithful man in mm. times of trouble is like a broken tooth mm. and a foot out of joint. Mm. Uh -oh. Now, now watch this and let me deal with it, Timothy. Let me deal with it right quick because I know people trying to figure out what, what this got to do with it. Now, I'm going to get ready to show you because, see, it says to have confidence in unfaithful men. Mm. We right. got confidence. We expecting things. We got hope and expectation from folk that's unfaithful. I mean, they don't have no faith in God. That's right. right. That's right. They don't have know no faith in God. And we know they don't. Mm. And we know they're not hearing from God. No, they're not they talking to God. Come they're on. not getting no instructions from God. Mm. But we put all our money, all our eggs in their basket. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. He said that's like having a bad tooth. Somebody say a toothache. A toothache. Ain't nothing nice about it. Mm. And a foot out of joint. You can't do nothing with neither one of them. Right. You can't chew and you can't walk. Mm. Hmm. That's being changed. Mm. Putting your confidence in unfaithful men. Mm. And that's where we are today. I'm talking about the church. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about that's where the church is. Right. We done put our faith in unfaithful men. Mm -hmm. We're not being led to follow them folk by God. We're just following them. Because if God's speaking to me, he's going to tell you not to they unfaithful. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm not talking about your husband that you think cheating on you. Wait a minute. Or your wife that you know. That's not what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Unfaithful men have no faith, no belief in God at all. At all. But we put our hope and expectation in them. Just give them time. Just give the scientists time. Just give them time. They're going to find something. Just give, yeah, yeah, we're going to give you time to die. That's what we're going to give you time to do. Die. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't go there, Lord. <laughs> See, the Lord has spoke to us and told us to stay away from certain places and certain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's because right. it's causing harm to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But we won't stop. Mm -hmm. Nope. We being used as guinea pigs, and, and all they doing is practicing. Come on, bitch, any, any doctor, any doctor, I don't care what level of education they got, they're going to tell you they practicing. Mm -hmm. I want to know when you're going to be through practicing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> when you're going to be through, what, what level of education you need to get to be through practicing, go get it. Mm -hmm. Because you're practicing on me. Mm -hmm. Well, sir. So I need you to stop practicing on me. Right. <laughs> That's right. Unfaithful men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a broken tooth or a foot out of joint. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. I understand. It's like that sometimes. They love you one minute, hate you the next. All depends on what you're saying. <laughs> Psalm 71 5. Let's go there, please. Psalm 71 5. I can tell you, we almost finished. Psalm 71. We almost finished. I can tell you that. 71. <clears throat> Look at this. Uh-huh. 71, verse 5. <clears throat> Y'all praying for me? Yes, sir. Okay, now we, we've been dealing with the word Elpis, but we're getting ready to go to a different word right now, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at verse 5, Psalm 71, 5. For thou art my hope. Mm -hmm. Watch this now, this is important. <clears throat> For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. Now, now watch this now. This is a proclamation. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He said, you are. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Come on, Tim. Somebody uh -huh. need to come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, come on. Come on. Watch this. Yeah. He said, he say, you uh -huh. are my hope. Yeah. And, uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This come on. Come on, come on. This is a declaration right here. This is making oh, a decision. Trust. You mm -hmm. are. My hope. Right. Thou art my hope, O oh Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. You are my hope and my trust. Watch this here. You are my expectation. Mm. You are my confidence. Yeah. You are my faith. Without you, yeah. I don't have it. Right. Come on here, somebody. He said, without you, I don't have no faith. I don't mm. have no confidence. I don't have no trust without you. Right. Watch this. The Bible says, yeah. for God is love. Right. Yeah. And if a man don't have God, he don't have no love. love. Right. Because yeah. the only way he can have it is to have God. Right. Right. You can't have no faith. You can't have no confidence. You can't have no trust and no expectation if you don't have no okay. Jesus. Right. All right. Right. Can't have it. Because that's how it comes, Timothy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've given all y'all a measure of faith who belong to me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, who is that measure of faith? It's not a what. Who is that? Jesus is that measure of faith. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And his name is the word. God. That make him faith then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His name is the word. If faith cometh by the word, the word came for this cause I came. Don't make me do it because I will. Do it then. Faith cometh. His name is the word and he came. He was sent. Yes. Faith was sent to me. All right. right. Thank you, Lord. Thank and without him, I don't have none. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good, sir. So if you ain't got no Jesus, you ain't got no God, you ain't got no hope. You ain't got no trust. We understand why you don't have it. But if you're a born-again believer in the Lord, you say you are. He's not your hope. He's not your faith. He's not your confidence. Mm -hmm. Listen. He is my anticipation. He is my expectancy. Mm -hmm. Because watch this. God is not going to deny his son anything. Right. Right. No good thing have I withheld from them that love me. And I sent my son to bless you. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I sent my son to bless you. Yeah. I can't be blessed if I don't have no hope. Mm -hmm. I don't have no confidence in God, no faith. I can't be blessed. That's right. Mm -hmm. That word right there, watch now, is tikba. T I Q B A H, tikba. And this is what it means it means as a cord as an attachment. It says it's as a cord attached to. Okay? Watch now. Watch how important this is then. Watch how important this is then. Watch how important this is. I'm going to take you somewhere in a minute. It says expectation, expectancy. Watch this. A lively hope. That's what the definition of tikba mm. is. Amen. Now, now watch now. Watch now. Remember it says a cord as an attachment. Uh, can we go to John... 15, please. That's it. I'm giving it a short take. Oh, y'all don't want to do this for me today, do y'all? John 15. John 15. John 15. John 15. Right. John 15. Watch it. Got to help you because this is going to bring it to you. Mm -hmm. Watch now. I'm going to start at verse number one. Mm -hmm. Watch. You got to remember, John. Remember, it's a card as an attachment. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. 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 Watch this. John 15. Start at verse one. Y'all there? Yes. Amen. I am the true vine. Yes, you My are. father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, mm -hmm. he taketh away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. Watch this. That it may bring forth more fruit. So watch this. Earlier he said that we ought to be excelling. Mm -hmm. We ought to be increasing. Right. We ought to be having right. more right. and remain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew y'all didn't think we'd come back to it. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now ye are cleansed through the words which I have spoken unto you. Watch this. Watch this. <clears throat> a cord attached, abide in me, yeah. and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, itself, it abide attached, uh -huh. a cord attached into the vine, no more yeah. can you accept, you abide or, or attached to me. All right. Uh, come right. on here, come All on right. here. Mm -hmm. I am the vine and you are the attachment. Mm -hmm. You're the branch, you're the attachment. Yeah. He that abideth in me, connected in me, and I am connected to him, the same bringing forth what? Much, Much fruit. fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Yes. If you're not attached to me, you can't have no confidence. Mm -hmm. You can't have no faith. Mm -hmm. You can't have no trust. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You can't expect nothing. Now, as there is no anticipation. Because you don't have the power to trust me. To have confidence in me. You have no reason. You have nothing in you to tell you that you can. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost is there to remind us. Watch this now. 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 First Peter chapter 1. <clears throat> Y'all ready? First Peter chapter 1. Come on. First Peter chapter 1. First Peter chapter 1. First Peter chapter one. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> First Peter chapter one. Because watch now, tick bar. It talks about a lively hope. It means to have a lively hope, not just hope, but a lively hope. Lively hope. Okay. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter one. Yes. Verse number three. 
Amen. Watch this. Are we there? Amen. Bless. Come on, come on, come on. Work with me. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3. I'm going to wait on you. I'm going to wait on you. Let me know when we get there. Now look what it says. Are we all there? First Peter 1, 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. Look what it says. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a what? A living hope. Uh, a lively or living hope. Mm -hmm. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So watch this now. Watch this now. We have a lively dark or a living hope in us. So watch this. That means it's moving. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that means you can know it then. All right. Come on here. All that right. means you can know it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there never should be a time since you got a lively hope in you. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. right. You, you got a living hope in you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, look, look, look. You got a moving hope in you. Yes. No, no. You got a creating hope in you. Man. A developing hope in you. Right. Yeah. Come on. You got a building hope in you. Yeah. Come yeah. on here, somebody. Yeah. You got yeah. a growing hope in you. Yeah. All right. So right. how is it that right. you can never be without hope if you yeah. got something right. like that That's in you? Right. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. You yeah. got a, de a developing and a building hope in you. Mm. A constantly establishing hope That's in you. Right. That's good, sir. Thank you. A consistent, Thank you. A consistent oh. hope in you. Yeah. So how could you walk around here hopeless? Mm. Full of fear, doubt, and unbelief then. Mm. That must mean you can't be a Christian. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Right. Wow. I already know how that's going to go. All right. Call telling me I ain't no Christian. Who's gonna tell me I ain't? I, I'm just reading scripture now. I'm going by the book. I'm going by the book. I'm going by the book. Ooh. First Peter 1 13. All right. Verse 13, we there? Amen. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Mm. All right. Be All right. sober yes. and hope to the end. Mm -hmm. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. Hope to the end for grace that is to be brought unto you. At the revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on here, somebody. Listen to what it says. Wherefore, gird up your loins, the loins of your mind. Mm -hmm. Be sober. Get out of your flesh. Be mm -hmm. sober. Right. And hope to the end for the grace. Right. Hope to the end. See, we, I, I got hope today, but I ain't got none tomorrow. <laughs> I, I got hope for this, but I ain't got none for that. Mm -hmm. No, no. See, those of us who really walk with God, we got hope to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Because That's we endure right. to the end. Because I say, because right. we endure to the end. Right, right, right. Yeah. Get your mind right. All get your mind right. right. Yeah. Come on, get your mind right. Get your mind right. Stop thinking like a heathen. Stop thinking like, like a non-believer. Get your mind right. Yeah. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Get your mind right. All right. Watch this now. Let me tell you, let me tell you what I love about God. Watch what he said, David. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace mm -hmm. if your mind is stayed on me. Right. That's right. right. That's come right. on here. Come on here. Come right. here. Come here. Yes. I, I said, I said right. I'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind yeah. off coronavirus. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You keep yeah. your mind off a of hand sanitizer. Right. Keep your mind off a of water and toilet paper. Right. I'll keep you in perfect peace. All right. Y'all don't want to talk to yeah. me today. I'll feel yeah. it in me. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'll keep you in perfect peace. Get your mind off hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and water. Mm. Put, it on Jesus. Put it on Jesus. All right. I'll keep you in perfect peace. Thank you, Lord. And the joy of the Lord will hold you up and be your strength. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yes. I'm almost done, brother. Yes. I already feel it. I'm almost done. Mm. Huh. Jeremiah, please, 17 and 7. <clears throat> 17 and 7. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Amen. <clears throat> yes, I am. Amen. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Glory to God. Y'all still praying for me? Yes, yes sir. sir. I shall appreciate it. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Our hope is in God. Mm, it is. But we have to watch it. We have to, we have to hope continue. We have to continue to hope to the end. Mm -hmm. We gotta have confidence to the end. We gotta right. expect, mm -hmm. anticipate to the very mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. Because right. he said, I'll be with you to the end mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Jeremiah 17, so watch this. 
Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. All right. Come amen. on, All right. Right. Come right. on right. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Come on now. Mm. He, he sent him to bless you according to Acts chapter yeah. 4, I think it is. He sent his son to bless you. That's, That's what right. it says. Mm -hmm. you, 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 ain't, you ain't blessed and highly favored. I don't care who you are. You ain't blessed and highly favored if you running from the coronavirus. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You afraid of corona? You ain't blessed and highly favored. I don't care who you are. Uh-oh, Bishop. Come on. Fire baptized and all of that. Help us, Lord. Jeremiah 17, 7. Mm -hmm. Blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy. That's mm -hmm. what it means. Happy and, and, and worthy to be envied. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Is the man that trusted. Watch now, watch now. Anticipates with pleasure. Mm -hmm. Trusted. Expect, have confidence and faith and trust in God. Mm -hmm. Blessed is that man. In the Lord, in the Lord. And whose hope. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. The, that word hope right there is mibtech. M-I-B-T-A-C-H. Mm -hmm. Mibtech. Now watch this now, because what it means is a place of refuge, security, and assurance. Mm. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. Watch this. That hope is the Lord. Why? Because I have a place of refuge, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. place of security and confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have to worry about nothing. You know why? Because watch this here, watch this here, watch this here. Even though the enemy may want to get to me, mm -hmm. he said I can't touch him because there's a hedge of protection on my Right. Mm -hmm. See, I told y'all y'all right. were going to shout me. I should <laughs> charge y'all for this. Mm. That, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm in a place, I got a place of security. Yeah. Mm. A, a place yeah. of assurance. I don't, I'm not worried about coronavirus yeah. because that is a hedge of protection around right. me. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, listen. Bishop ain't saying... And God ain't even saying that because just because you're a Christian, you're exempt from coronavirus. Right. But he is saying those of us who are really walking in faith got a hedge of protection. Corona can't Amen. touch Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Y'all see y'all yes, right. yes, yeah. don't want to say, hey, Miss Howard, can y'all say? No, 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 no. See, my, my confidence is in God. Right. right. My hope right. is in God. Yes. See, yes. I say that because yes. I believe that. I know what God has said to me. Right. I believe it. Blessed is the man. Let me read it to you again then. That trust mm -hmm. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Watch now. Whose hope the Lord is. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on here now. Huh? He is my hope. He is. Yes, sir. He is my confidence. He is. Without it, I don't have it. Blessed is that man. Mm -hmm. Blessed is that man. I say, blessed is that man. Mm -hmm. Are you that man? All right. You that Amen. one man? Yes. Amen. Here's our closing scripture. Let's go to Mark chapter 5. We're closing with this. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 and we're closing. Mark chapter 5 and we're closing. Mark chapter 5 and we're closing. The one with this, your blood. In Mark chapter 5. Um, we're going to look at verses 25 to 29. I want to talk to you about this right here because this is what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. <clears throat> Watch what he said, family. He said, in times like this, God is our only hope. Mm -hmm. He said, Jesus is your only hope. He said, the doctors nor the scientists can help you now. God is our only hope. Watch this. He said, the woman with the issue of blood realized mm -hmm. that God was her only hope. Yeah. Right. She right. realized that Jesus was her only hope because she had already staked all her confidence. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. all, all her anticipation, her expectation, her confidence, and her trust and faith was in doctors. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And none of them could help her, and things only God, God works. works. Yeah. Yeah. And if we don't put our confidence in God, mm -hmm. if God is not our hope, everything's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we look into the wrong people to be our hope. Right. Mm. I'm not knocking doctors. God gave us doctors. He gave us scientists. I'm not knocking that. But your hope has to be in somebody who is able to do exceedingly above and above anything you can yeah. ask, think, or imagine. Right. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody who will never let you down. All right. Who has proven to be trustworthy. 
who's not practicing healing, but he's healing. Amen. Right. Yeah. See how y'all acting? Yeah. He's not yeah. practicing right. medicine. Mm -hmm. Amen. We in Mark chapter what? Five. 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 Verse 25. <clears throat> y'all ready? Yes, sir. Watch what it says, family. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years. This corona thing has only been a few months. Mm -hmm. And has suffered many things of many physicians. And has spent all that she had. And was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Watch this though now, watch this now. And she realizes, this is not written, but God shows she realizes her only hope is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, everything that everybody been failed her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her money couldn't give it to her. Mm -hmm. People couldn't give it to her. Medicine couldn't give it to her. Nothing could help her. Mm -hmm. Her only hope was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Watch, we get ready to see it. Her only hope. Watch now. Verse 27. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Watch this. Mm -hmm. For she said, if I might touch, this is my only hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. For she yes. said, if I may touch <clears throat> but his clothes, I shall be whole. Mm -hmm. This is my only hope right here. This is my only hope, John. Yes. This is my only hope that I can touch to him in his garment. Right. If I can make it, this is right. my only right. living hope. Oh. Amen. That's to get to that garment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she put everything, life and limb, on the line. See, see, this is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. John, this is what I don't get, man. We can go everywhere else, but we scared to come to church because we're going to catch corona. Right. But we can go everywhere else, put our life really on the line. Mm. There you go. There you go. Come on here. Ain't nobody yeah. nowhere that promised you no healing, no help of no kind. But we go to all them places, mm -hmm. but we can't risk going to church because I'm scared I'm going to catch corona. You ain't scared to catch it nowhere else? Her saying if she can get to the hymn, she talking about if I can get to church where I can hear a hymn. Yeah. Sing a hymn. Uh, amen. Right, 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 right. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. If I can just get to him, because mm -hmm. he's my only hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. If I can just get to him, I know I'll be made whole. If I can just get to him. Mm -hmm. And so she put her life on the line to get to him. Timothy, don't you know that I'll risk coming to church? Yeah. Before I go somewhere else, man, I'll yes, come sir. to church? Right. Mm -hmm. All it takes is two or three to be in there. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. It don't take everybody in there. Just two or three, Timothy. Mm -hmm. And I know if I get that John, that's at least two or three because I'm going to make at least number two. Amen. All right. He said two or three. Mm -hmm. He said two or three. Yes. So I'm going to at least make number two, John, if right. I show up. All right. right. But I'm scared to go to church because I might catch it. I can't get this, man. I, I can't grab that. I'm talking about believers, so-called believers saying this. Mm. But you go to Sam's. Hmm. You go anywhere else you want to go, but I ain't going to church because I might catch it. But you go everywhere else, you ain't worried about nobody just pointing on you, spitting on you, throwing on you. Mm. But I go to church. That'd be the last thing I'm thinking about catching that church is any kind of disease. Mm. See, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's where the church is, man. This ain't non-believers saying this. These so-called so Christians saying this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm coming to a close. I know it's time right now. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Let me, let me, let me, let me say it one more time. Verse 27, she said, when she heard of Jesus coming in the press behind and touched his garment, for she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Watch now. Watch now. Verse 29, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. Mm -hmm. She felt in her body mm -hmm. that she was healed from the Oh, I feel a run Hallelujah. in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right there. I feel a run in me. Right there. 
Because, see, you watch this here. As soon as she got to church, mm -hmm. I say, as soon as she got to church, mm -hmm. she felt her healing. Mm -hmm. Come on here. As mm -hmm. soon as she got to church, right. heard the saints sing. Yeah. I say, she knew where she was as soon as she got to church. All right. right. Spirit of God was moving. Mm -hmm. Right. As soon as she crossed the threshold of the doors of the church, mm -hmm. she felt in her body her healing. All right. Right. Her issues, all yeah. her issues went away. No, no. It says she was healed from her plague. Ain't that what we say we got yes, out of here? Right. Yeah, Ain't that right. a plague? Ain't that what they call it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, they, some want to call it, they call it a plague. Pandemic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. That's what they call it. But when she got to church, mm -hmm. she got rid of the plague. Amen. Mm -hmm. But see, the devil got folks scared to come to church. Mm -hmm. Thinking you're going to come to church. And catch a plague. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I promise y'all I'm close. <laughs> I promise you I am. Listen to what God is saying. Immediately. Watch now. It says, watch now. Because her touching his clothes, she done made it to church. Mm -hmm. And watch now, she's touching and agreeing. Her faith is right. touching yeah. and agreeing. Right. All right. With the two or three, John, right. that's right. there. Right, right, right. How about with everybody? Right. Uh -huh. Just give me the two or three. Right. Yeah. That'll yeah. touch and agree with me. Yeah. All right. God knew she was on her way to church, mm -hmm. and all God got to do is see you on your way to church. All right. And when you get there, you'll get rid Amen. of your plague. All right. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Agreement. But I ain't scared to go to church. I ain't scared I'm going to catch something else, but I come to church and I ain't ready to catch nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Uh, immediately, straight away, it happened. It didn't take all day. Because God don't take all day. Right. Mm -hmm. As soon as God finds somebody that's got some faith, Mm -hmm. As soon as he finds somebody that's got some faith, yes, sir. That's all he's looking for, cause he ain't moved by nothing else. Mm -hmm. right. right. He ain't moved by nothing else. He ain't triggered by nothing else but by some faith. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so all God is looking for us to understand is our hope is in God. Mm -hmm. I gotta expect God, anticipate God, pleasure. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, God is mm -hmm. about to do mm -hmm. something. I can tell God is about right. to do something. I'm going to sit back and stand still yeah. and watch the salvation of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, see, this is an hour for God. Mm -hmm. This is a time for God to move. Hmm? Why everybody else looking for Superman and Batman? No, no. This is a time for God mm -hmm. to move. Amen. And all God is looking for mm -hmm. is somebody that's got some faith. All right. And he's asking the church, where is your faith? Where is your hope? Are you anticipating anything from God? You got any kind of God at all? Are you looking forward to God doing anything at all? Other than just letting everybody die? Well, God ain't getting ready to let that happen, John. That is not getting ready to happen. All right. That's not getting ready to happen. Because watch this here. If it's your time to go, you going anyway. Right. Yeah. And coronavirus ain't got to have nothing to do with it. If it's time for you to go, guess what? You're going. going. Yes, yeah. sir. Anything out there can be your vehicle. That's right. I need for you to put your hope mm -hmm. in me. The one with this blood realized that Jesus was our only hope. Mm -hmm. Family, God is our only hope right now. Yes, he is. Can't put no hope or no trust in nothing else because nobody else or nothing else is working. And so God is looking for us to have hope in him, to yes. come to him and to trust him. <clears throat> and so since, since we need a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ in order for that to happen, I want to pray the prayer of salvation with you. Not, I don't want to pray the sinner's prayer because there's no such thing as the sinner's prayer. But there is a prayer of salvation because the prayer of salvation is a transitional. 
It's when the heart is changed. Mm -hmm. And that's why God is looking at the heart. And so we want to pray the prayer of salvation so you come into a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ so that this hope that we're talking about, this expectancy, this confidence, this faith and trust, this anticipation that we're talking about will come into you. God will be your will be your faith and your trust. If you would bow your heads for a moment and just repeat this prayer after me. <coughs> Excuse me. Father God in heaven, I surrender my life to you today. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and I repent of my sins. And I accept and receive your son Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to reign and to rule over my life. Father God in heaven, I pray now in the name of Jesus that you will fill me with your Holy Spirit that now lives on the inside of me. Teach me how to obey your commandments and walk in your statutes and I promise with your help to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer with a sincere heart, <clears throat> yes, your, the confidence, the hope, the faith and the expectation that you need has just entered into your life. The Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is your confidence. He is your hope of glory. He is a living hope in your life. And so I'm going to ask us to stand all over the building. And those of you who are doing social media, if you would stand with us, stand with us, mm -hmm. <clears throat> participate in this. Here's what Jesus did. Jesus called everybody publicly, and so that's what we're going to do for you. Mm -hmm. If you would take a step toward, just take a step. You don't have to take a minute, just take a step because that step represents you coming to the Lord and releasing your life over to God. And so that's what we're going to do for you today. If you take that step toward God, letting him know that you are following him, that's the beginning of you following him. Hallelujah. And so we would like for you to make a, a, a record of, of your salvation today and we'd like for you to give us a call. Here at the Red Sea Baptist Church, 254-258-4435 or 4438. And uh, we'd like to record your salvation experience. Hallelujah. And so we need to, to sing a song uh, of invitation for us. And after we do that, we're going to pray together and we're going to dismiss. He wants you to live. He came to give you life abundantly. He wants you to live. He died to set you free. Free from the bondage of sin. It's freely given. Give your life back to him. He wants you to live and not die, so he gave his life for you. Now isn't that love? He came to save that which was lost. Now isn't that love? He stayed up on the cross. Now isn't that love the ultimate cause? He wants you to live and not die. He wants you to live and not die. He wants you to live and not die. So he gave his life for you. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so what we're going to do, we're going to pray. I want to pray for everybody. Uh, and then once we do our prayer, then we're going we're gonna to dismiss. But I want to make sure that I pray for us today. Remember that God is. He's our only hope. Make sure that you put your trust and your faith in God. Make him your hope. Make him your confidence. Make him. You have to declare and decree that. You have to open your mouth and let the enemy know that you, you owe no more allegiance to him. And that the Lord Jesus Christ is your confidence, your faith, your expectation is in him. Father, as we lift our 
voices to you today as we bow our heads and humble ourselves before you today. First of all, we want to say thank you for being merciful. Thank you for watching over. And again, God, we know that there are some who have expired. Lives has ended. But we want to thank you that we're still here. Yes, Lord. That shows mercy and that shows grace. Those who are gone, it was time for them to go. But we are still here. So there's still some decisions that we're going to have to make. And that's to pick up our cross daily, deny ourselves, and follow you. You're the navigator in our life. And we need for you to direct us around troubled waters. We need for you to help quiet the storms in our life. You said if we keep our minds on you, you'll keep us in perfect peace. Right now, I pray over the minds of your people, God. Stand I pray over all of the foolishness that the enemy has placed in their mind right now. And I pray the healing of salvation over their mind. I pray that they will begin to think like Christ, have the mind of Christ today. But I also want to pray for healing for those who are watching. Yes, <clears throat> From whatever disease they are being attacked by right now, whatever disease they are suffering from, whatever the name of it is, is not the name that's above every name. Jesus is the name that's above every name. And so I speak to illness right now. I speak to diseases right now in the power of the name of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. By the power that he's given me as a man of God. I speak to illnesses right now in the name of Jesus. And Jesus you are in church. Yes, Lord. You are in church right now. And just like the one with the issue of blood, straightway her issue dried up. I command for your issue to dry up right now. I command for your sickness to dissipate and go away right now. <clears throat> I speak to tumors right now. I command them to dissipate, dissolve, and go away. Blockages, I command them to dissolve and go away so blood will flow freely throughout the body right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to sickness and disease, whatever the name of it is, it has to bow down right now to the name of Jesus. You're in church. You're reaching out to the Lord, and straightway, you're going to feel in your body, you're feeling in your body that you're coming right now. That in place, right now. God is no respecter person. Just like the woman with your blood felt in her body, her healing, you're going to feel. You're feeling in your body the healing. And we give God glory, and we give God praise for your healing right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to blood issues right now. Matter of fact, somebody is bleeding from the nose right now. Somebody, blood is coming from your nose. Blood is coming from, matter of fact, I see blood coming from somebody's ear. There's blood in somebody's ear. And I command that blood to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that thing at the very root cause of whatever it is. The ear and I see the blood in the nose right now in the name of Jesus. Matter of fact, I see a Caucasian lady. A Caucasian lady, you got blood in your nose. You got blood, you're bleeding in your nose. And I rebuke that right now. I, I command that blood to dry up right now. Yeah. I command it to dry up. That person with the bleeding in the ear, <clears throat> you got cotton in your ear. You got some cotton in your ear. You can take that cotton out of your ear right now in the name of Jesus. That blood is drying up in the name of Jesus. And you're not going to have issues with that anymore. God, we thank you very much right now in the name of Jesus. For your healing power moving through the airways right now. We give you glory. We give you praise. Don't be afraid. Receive your healing, family. If you're watching this, if, you, if you're live with us right now, you can receive, anticipate it. You can receive your healing. God wants you to do Thank it with Lord joy. Jesus. He wants you to anticipate this with, with pleasure. <clears throat> don't doubt it. Eat big fear, doubt, and unbelief, and receive your healing. I don't care what it is. Yeah. Receive Thank your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your body. I don't, just put your hand on your body anywhere. The Lord said, put your hand on your body anywhere and just declare your healing. Say, Lord, I am healed. Put your hand on your body, fam. Put your hand on your body. I command that I'm healed. I believe and I receive that I'm healed. In Jesus' name, I receive the healing. 
I receive the healing right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God said he don't care where you're having your issue. Just put your hand on your body. Just touch your body and say, I receive my healing receive from the Lord God. Jesus Christ. I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. God is no respect of person. Didn't stop with the See, because if you don't connect with your five senses, your healing didn't come. She had to feel she was healed. You got to feel that you're healed. God wants you to know that you're healed. Ma'am, you're not going to bleed from your nose no more. You're not going to bleed from your ear no more. It's not going to happen. God didn't spoke your healing. Today was the day for it. You heal. I don't care what the name of it is. You heal from it right now. Receive it in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for everything that's transpired in here today. Everything that's run across the airway. We thank you for every deliverance, for every person that has given their life to the Lord. We thank you for every healing today. The, the church is still relevant, and you still God. And so no matter what go on in our land, you still God and you still own everything. Yeah. And we give you glory, we give you praise for you being God and for letting us know, for allowing us to know you as the true and living God. Now, God, we pray over our nation right now. Yeah. We pray for healing to go forward. We rebuke coronavirus right now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We rebuke it, God, <clears throat> and we tell you it can't stay in our nation no longer. It has to go back to the pit of hell from wherever it came from. It has to go back. So I plead the blood over our nation right now, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your hedge of protection that's around our nation right now. Thank you for your angels being encamped around our nation right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory and we give you praise. Ma'am, you that holding that baby, you that's holding that baby right now. God do love you. Yes, he do. Yes, he do love you. Mm -hmm. And God is healing you and your baby right now. Yes. Thank you. He's healing you and your baby. I see you, ma'am. I see you. I see you holding your baby. Your baby got a little white cap on it on his head. I see you holding your baby. Yes. God is healing you and your baby. Yes, yes he do love you. Thank you. And we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, the love of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God, may he rest, rule, and abide. Hence one man forevermore, that the church of the living God can come together once again and worship you, O God, in spirit and in truth. Let the church say amen. 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 amen.